Hello, everybody. It is Thursday, and we're here. Let me get over to comments. So, hey, Debbie. Um, just let me know. I see. I know Debbie's here. Let me know when everybody gets here and make sure. Um, let's just make sure, sound check, that you can hear me. And uh, hopefully my camera is straight on my desk. We'll see. Um, I should have checked that one, but mm. all right. So we got two eyeballs. I need to uh, get my scratch paper. I was just die cutting a couple things last minute. I thought I would do something ahead of time. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Julie. Carol. Susan. Awesome. Okay. So um, we can get started. Uh, so I've got good news and bad news this week. Yikes. Um, so, oh, thanks, Susan. Thanks, everybody. Good. Sound check's good. Yay. Um, so good news is I went to that crop last weekend and I got the, um, I got all, I got five memory boards done for my friend's mom's funeral. That's, um, tomorrow. So Darlene, you're a pair of eyeballs. <laughs> hey Sue. I didn't take pictures of all of them because, uh, some of them watch my page, my stamping page. So I didn't want them to be, um, I want them to be surprised. So I will post pictures of all those tomorrow. Um, but needless to say that pile of butterflies and flowers that I cut, like way too many. I think I cut for five butterflies um, on each board. So I cut 25 butterflies and I think just as many flowers. I used three butterflies. Hey, Rose. I used three butterflies and two flowers on each one. Actually, four flowers because I double layered them. Um, but it was like way too, I spent way too much time on it. Like, but I didn't know how it was going to end up. So more pictures on that um, tomorrow, but that was a good weekend. Um, and when I get down, when I put my camera down on my table, I'll show you my book that I made, which I was not able to finish because I used every bit of granny apple green card stock that I have. So I can't make any photo mounts or inserts or, um, you know, tuck spots or anything. Uh, so I need to order some more card stock. Um, but it was a lot of fun. If you guys ever have weekend crops like in your area, Hi, Peg. Um, I really encourage you to go to them. Like my friends and I, this was supposed to happen two years ago. Mm. Excuse me. Um, you know, but it just kept getting postponed, postponed. And this was the last one. Um, thankfully, somebody else I think is going to take them over. So they might have another one in November or September, something. Um, but they're a lot of fun. You drag like all your stuff that you want to work on. Um, we get a six foot table, like everybody gets their own six foot table. And, you know, we're spaced out. Um, so they group like eight tables together. So your, your pod, you know, it's usually friends that you hang out with every time. So it's a lot of fun. Um, not a lot of sleeping. My air conditioning in my room was terrible. So I didn't get sleep for two nights. Uh, but other than that, it was good. Uh, what else did I work on? Um, my boards. Oh, fun stuff. We went and saw the Who on Monday night. Yeah. That's the second time we've seen them and they were really good. Um, I would go see them again. Like <laughs> we really like them. Um, so bad news. Uh, so I apologize for like friends and family that have, that are just going to see this for the first time, but I just haven't had time to, um, get anything out. So, um, maybe you remember that my mom, I had to take my mom in for testing a couple weeks ago and we thought no news is good news. We never heard anything back. Boo. Uh, that was not the case. So, uh, my mom has the same kind of cancer that my sister has. So both of them, pancreatic cancer, uh, mother and daughter, like what are the chances of this happening? It's a bunch of BS. So, um, but you know, endoscopy, um, testing, they sent test results to John Hopkins for, to verify. So it really is happening. Um, so I took her to, yeah, it's, it's no good. Um, so hers, uh, we're going to the same doctors, the same oncologist, the same chemo, um, because, you know, if I had to take them both in at the same time, which we had to do on Tuesday. So we had to roll my sister down to the chemo unit on Tuesday to get fluids. Cause she's like bad off now. Um, and then me and my mom had to go upstairs and my brother came, we all had to go upstairs to the oncologist. So at least everything's in the same building. Um, but we're going to see how it goes. Hers, uh, 
so with my sister, she had pancreatitis when they first found out, you know, found the cancer. So she could not have surgery first. So she had to go the route of chemo, then radiation, um, you know, a whole bunch of blah, 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 then surgery. And none of that worked out. But my mom, um, they can clearly see it. It's resectable. It's two centimeters in the head of the pancreas. So like they have to take everything out. So it's going to be the whole Whipple procedure where they take all your guts and like part of your stomach and your, um, most of the pancreas and like duodenum or something like, I don't know, you'll have to look it up, but it's a whole big thing. Um, but he, the doctor's like, uh, we can get you in on June 6th. So, uh, that's less than two weeks away. Uh, we've got to do some, she's already had some appointments that she has to get like pre, you know, cleared for surgery through her heart doctor and her regular doctor and another scan and all this. So, um, things are moving pretty quickly. So, uh, next week I'm going to be good for, we're having our June workshop next week. The following week, I don't know. I probably won't be on a video because if everything goes according to plans, she'll have surgery on Monday, the 6th, and then she will probably stay in the hospital for about a week. Um, that's going by what they told us last time for my sister. So I'm going to spend the night probably like Monday and Tuesday night at the hospital because they let you have one person in the room. Um, so yeah, like, ugh. and then my mom had to take my sister in today for, they were supposed to get more fluids, but they ended up having to admit her. She's all like swelled up and like, it's a whole big thing. Um, so, but I still need a little bit of stamping, um, to keep myself sane, right? So this is my happy place. I need to make stuff. I like, yeah, I need to be crafty. Hey, Gail. Um, so I am not like, you know, oh, I'm going to be quitting videos, whatever. Nope. But it may come to a point where I have to adjust my schedule or, um, the time or, you know, like days. I don't know. We'll just, we'll have to play it by ear. Okay. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, and that's that. So, uh, let's go. What else did I have to tell you? Workshop. Mm. So May workshop that's closing next week. Um, Tuesday, I believe is the 31st. Yeah. And then, um, that Thursday, next Thursday, we'll have June. Ooh, there's a special in June. It's a BOGO on the kits. So the kits that are, um, not the paper pumpkin kits, but the other kits that we have available, like the robot kit, um, the million thanks kit that I worked on a couple weeks ago, June, all of June, they are, um, going to be buy one, get one half off. So, oh, thanks you guys. I appreciate it. And like all the prayers, like we need them all. So, um, yeah, so June special with the kit. Um, and I'm gonna have to look and see, maybe they'll put some new ones out. I don't know. Cause I've got all the ones that I like. Um, but take a look at those. So mm, checking my notes. Yep. 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 All right. Let's scoot down here. And okay. That's pretty straight. Let me move it just a titch. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this pile. So, Ooh, let's show some cards because I got some really good swaps from Rose. Um, let me pull these out and then I'll show you my book. How about that? I can't remember if I showed you this card or not, but Renee sent me this. Um, and I love it. This is some of the celebration papers and I like these sequins. Um, a little thinking of you. I want to say, I think this was from a paper pumpkin kit, the stamp set, but I'm not sure. Um, but I just love it. And then Rose made, sent me two swaps. So this is, let's do this one first. So this is the new piggy set. Oh my God. Look at this. So cute. I cannot remember what paper this is. So Rose, you tell me what paper this is. Um, if it's, is this the one that has the teacups on it? Um, I don't recognize these flowers, but we've got DSP here, a circle and little piggy that she colored um, and hand cut, I'm sure. And then put all these little gems and that's popped up. All her little details. I love them. And then she always does the inside. Love and big hugs. I need that. Yep. Rose says, yep, teacups. And Sue, good. Thanks. Um, I do like these stripes. So I love it, Rose. And then she sent this one um, with a, this is the Flowers of Friendship set, which I have not used in a long time. It's the one that comes with the flower punch. I love it. And these are new Glossy Dots assortments um, and the tag. So this is the new ribbon. And I, 
I believe this is um, Starry Sky or Orchid Oasis. I can't tell. Maybe it's Orchid because it does look a little bit more purpley. Um, but I love it. And then, you know, the brick folder with the fresh freesia. So, Sue, so you had been asking if the ends of this frayed. And I know, I think we had said, yes, it does. But now you can see for real that it does um, like that copper ribbon that we had, that copper trim. Um, so if that's what you were asking about. So I love those. Thank you, Rose. And I'm going to be um, in my craft room this weekend. So I'm going to get my swaps at IOU done um, once I think of what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Let me put my notes out of the way and let me bring in my book. So this is a book. So like Saturday night at the crop, I finally got to work on something myself. Um, this is a paper, vertical paper bag album book. So it says paper bag because I didn't punch holes, but it is the base pages are made out of treat bags. So I got these at Michael's, this celebrated brand, um, because they were like, you know, I got black, white, and this green. I picked this green because it was the closest to Granny Apple Green that I had. I mean, like, this was the closest color that I could put it with. Um, and then I used, I had this party pack from last year. So each page, let's look down in here. So here how we have a treat bag in each single one. So you can put, um, you know, like little more photo mounts, or you can make a little book and slide them in. Um, but each one in this gusset, we mount this flap. And then there's like a whole binding system that I finally decided to try. It's called the um, Stack the Deck binding system. So this is all made out of cardstock and chipboard that I got from my paper pumpkin kits. So, you know, you get the paper pumpkin every month and in the bottom of it, there's that piece of chipboard. I use three of those. So I cut one down for this and then one down for the back and, um, and then the middle piece. So, yeah, the middle is like two and let's just measure it and this i watched a bunch of videos and like cobbled together the instructions that i liked <laughs> so it's two and three quarters wide by mm, like eight and a half yeah eight and a half inches tall and then it's just cardstock so like i wrapped cardstock around the chipboard um and then layered stuff so each page has the flap the gift, the treat bag pocket, and then a pocket on the back. And that pocket is from this flap. So I, you know, once I get this dolled up, um, oh, and these are some of the prizes I won at the, uh, at the crop, but I just love it. So yeah, one side of the hinge holds the flap, the other side hold or grabs the hinge, the gusset, I mean, you know, of the treat bag. So mm, look at those gems. I like those. Those are kind of like brown. Um, but there's six pages. And then I've got a little grommet in the middle. This is one of the uh, jumbo eyelets that we used to sell. Uh, I will not be trying it again. That's why this is my prototype because I work through issues. This grommet was not thick enough to even come through all the layers. So I've got, you know, chipboard, one, two, three, four, five, six layers of cardstock plus uh tape like all the tear and tape and i used like almost an entire roll of tear and tape making this book um but i'm not done so this is just the base that you get to see um but i just love it pockets and flaps so i just need to add like more tuck spots um tags you know little insert things to pull stuff out some pictures, you know, I like a combination of some pictures and some journaling. Um, but I will be, this is on my project list to like make a video. It's probably gonna have to be like four or five different videos, like a series of them to show you guys how to make this. Because like I said, I watched a few different people and everybody did theirs a little differently and had, you know, some different measurements and different order of things. So um, I had to update my notes with things that I want to change. But I love it. It's kind of like a weird size when you look at it. If you're into, you know, scrapbooking it, it just, it seems like a weird size. Yeah, because it's five by eight and a half. Um, 
but it's neat. I love it. So, and then when you get these treat bags, they come in a 12 pack and you need six to make one album. So that was like, you know, kind of, I think fortuitous. So, Hey Di. Okay, good. You responded to my email. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I need to get in touch with that girl, um, to get on her, the list if she's going to be picking up, you know, running those crops. All right. So today, finally, 8.15, um, we're going to work on some slimline cards and then a box to hold them. So I had, I got the pack of, oh, what's this garbage, the pack of slimline envelopes that we sell. And they come in soft succulent, um, smoky slate, and black and white. So I've got three cards. I actually made the third one ahead of time because I just thought I was going to, um, you know, I thought I was going to run out of time. So we're going to make the first two, and then we'll make a box that will hold these. Okay. So let's do, um, doot, doot, doot. let's see. And by the way, I am going to save this chipboard too, because you never know what you can use this stuff for. Like that looks like it would be an interesting size little booklet or something. So let's put that to the side. Um, so the first one we're going to do is the soft succulent. Um, oh, and that's another thing. When I made that album, you may notice some of my pages, well, all the pages, they don't seem to be flat. They did not dry flat at all. It's everything's kind of warped. It was so humid in that room, that scrapbook room that like nothing ever really dried. I thought by having it in my own house, like since Sunday night that it would have, you know, straightened itself out, but it did not. Um, so humidity really affects things. It's kind of crazy, but all right. So first card, soft succulent. We are going to go with a seven by eight and a half base. So I like to make my, um, my slim lines either seven or seven and a half by eight and a half, but I am limited to, uh, seven by eight and a half because of the size of the envelopes. Normally I'm making a slim line. I'll do like a, something that'll fit in a number 10 envelope. Um, but these are a little bit smaller than that. So at seven, I'm going to score at three and a half. And again, that is the soft succulent. And with this, I'm using the tray chic um, papers that have like a lot of gold and soft succulent, pool party, um, petal pink, like this paper. Mm, I love it. It's the one that goes with the chic boutique, or maybe the paper's called chic boutique. It's It goes with the set that has like leaves, shells, flowers, uh, lots of, these are beautiful. Um, but this is a leaf print on the back, but I'm going to use this gold bit. So I've got, um, again, three and a half by eight and a half card. Then I've got petal pink. This is three by eight. Cause I want kind of a big border on this one just cause I thought, why not? Uh, then I cut DSP. I cut this down three sixteenths of an inch. So it's, two and 13 sixteenths by seven and 13 sixteenths. All right. And why do I do that? Um, cause I'm a jerk and I just like the three sixteenths, you know, sometimes I do like eighth, eighth inch borders and quarter inch borders, but most times, uh, it's like Goldilocks. I like the one that's right in the middle, which is three sixteenths. And it's not really hard to, to cut. So all right, I'm just going to glue this on straight, hopefully. Yep. Oh, look at that. Bam. Got it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to use some palm trees. We're going to use paradise palms. Get my pin in there. Um, I have not used a oh, wrong one. I have not used this very much. Uh, so much, in fact, that I have not even like trimmed these down or mounted them. Oh, look at that. The only thing I mounted was this little, these coconut balls. And it looks like that came up. I wonder if I stuck the sticker on the wrong side. No, I couldn't have. All right, let me peel this up for a minute. This should not have happened. All right. Now, if it keeps coming off, oh, you know what? I may have stuck it on the wrong if it keeps coming off, I'm going to glue this on there 
or just peel it up for sure for for good but anyway um i only mounted like the words i hadn't had a chance to really use the rest of these so anyway we're using some dies um let's get this so i cut the this little decorative bit on here i don't know what you call that but um i ran that through the big shot and again I use my chrome plate for uh, the detailed stuff and I'm just gonna like roll my fingernail right over these and all these little bits are gonna come up like I literally just cut this maybe five minutes before I started so I ended up working like 12 hours yesterday because I hardly worked at all Monday and Tuesday since we had to I had to leave early Monday um, so we could see the who because can't miss any of that. Um, and then yesterday, uh, or no, Tuesday, what day's today? Today's Thursday. Yeah, Sue, I'm such a jerk. Um, yeah, Tuesday, uh, I went in just for a couple hours before we had to go to all the doctor's appointments. And then nobody was, I wasn't in the mood to go back to work. Um, so, yeah, not a whole bunch of time. Let me see. Die. I agree that album is awesome, but I mean, didn't you think the humidity was just nuts how bad it was? And I hadn't noticed that so much before, but I think because the other times I went was like January, February, not like when it's warm. So I'm going to have to think about if they're going to have it in September because, you know, that's usually still warm for us. All right, let's get this going. What would you call this decorative bit? Like, I don't even know. A little strip. Like, it reminds me, um, I guess if it if I did it in white or gray, it seems like there's walls, like, near the beach that are this pattern. All right. And then I already embossed, stamped and embossed the little trees in gold. I love these. Uh, let me put these back, the dies, before I lose that. Okay. So we need to get all our pieces out, out of the way, I should say. Um, and these ones, I did not use my, uh, my chrome plate on them. I used my regular Big Shot plate, and they didn't separate entirely. All right, let's see. Oh, of course not. Okay, so let me just give this a little what for. There we go. So I'm going to just do like three groups of these trees across the center of my card, and then we are going to emboss a greeting. Um, and for this one, I'm going to use the Slimline Greetings, uh, which did I see somebody posted about the, um, the mini catalogs? I barely had time to look at those last night because, frankly, I forgot about it. Uh, been occupied. Um, so I barely, I had time to just quickly go through it. And, uh, I mean, I don't think my order is going to be too huge on June, on June 1st. Um, but where was I going to go with that? Oh, the retired list. So, like, the things that are currently in the January through June catalog. Um, this Slim Sayings is one of them. I need to post the list, but hey, Peggy. Um, so they posted and there's stuff that's going to go on sale, I think June 1st, right? But of course, some sets that like I haven't hardly used at all are going away. All right. So this is how I see this card going. I wanted, I cut two of these, but I may not use them. So I kind of want my palm trees, like, you know, just a line of three. Or I may go two and one. No, we'll do three. Space them out. Um, I normally don't really have something like this, but that's all right. So I want to lay this down. And then I've got a little strip um, that I have to trim down that I want to stamp and emboss. We're going to say happy for you. So I want that to be uh, go across this whole thing. So eight inches. And then let me see how wide this is. So I could do eight by one. Um, and I think that's what I cut already. So let's do that. Oh, nope. I didn't cut the, I didn't cut it at one inch. 
All right, let's trim this up. Trim, trim, trim. So double check. Yep, eight, and then we'll do one inch. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to try to get this in the center and emboss it. All right, so happy for you. I'm really disappointed that I haven't used this one enough, um, but I liked it. What got me with this one was the happy birthday. I like that, how it was, you know, long ways, the happy for you. And I like this one. You are one of a kind. I've been mostly stamping this and then cutting each word out separate. Um, and actually graduate. I actually, I need to use that. Uh, somebody's kid is graduating and I think I gave their brother money. So, you know, can't cheat them. Everybody has to get the same amount or the same thing. All right, let's eyeball this. And of course, if I was that concerned, I would get out my stamp apparatus or something, but I'm more of a, it's good enough. All right. So Versa mark and eyeballing right in the center. And then we will get my fancy embossing powder holder and add, ooh, yeah, nice. So I'm gonna hit this like three times and then cook it. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot done this weekend at the crop, but hardly any for myself. Because <laughs> then Sunday came around, and um, I barely had time to do like one little paper pumpkin kit. And then we had to pack up and get out of there because they had another event coming in behind us. But it was, yeah, I needed the time, and it was a lot of fun. All right, let's cook this up. And you know, that's a thing about the, um, like the mini catalogs coming out so quickly because it's the mini catalog and celebration. Like I haven't even really got into a lot from the new catalog yet. And then we're going to have this like coming, they'll start mailing out to people in June and then it starts July 1st. Like, ugh, goes too quickly. And I did like some of the new, um, what was I going to say? Ugh, I can't remember. Oh, the celebration catalog. It looks like there's um, a lot more $100 items, um, but I don't think that's going to be the end of the world because I guess generally you guys spend much, you know, that much of the time anyway. So I don't think it's going to be critical. Um, it was just surprising. All right. So I want this to go across here. And then our, this is going to have to go like behind. So this will go scooching down. Yeah. I want these like three. Yep. All right. So what I'm going to do, I decided I'm going to glue these to the back of this strip. Okay. So let's just put a little glue and I'm going to aim for like a third of it to be hidden. All right, so just like that, that looks a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can fix it. Oops, all right. And then I'll do the same thing down here. This would look really pretty too, I think, um, cut out in gold. All right. Oh, yeah. Maybe some of that distressed gold that I haven't cracked open yet that kind of goes with this paper. That is really pretty. All right. So we've got this. And actually, I'm going to have to pop this up 
Um, and then we're going to glue this down flat. All right. And I like this petal pink. Um, it's beachy. So this print has petal pink, uh, pool party, and soft succulent bits in it. So, yeah, I really like it. All right, let's put these. It's kind of where we're going with this. This needs to be like more at the bottom. You know what? This should have been trimmed a little bit more, um, but we're not going to worry about it. This is going to go here. Yep. Ooh, change my mind. Here, here, here. Yep. So these will go on top and this one on the bottom. You like how I just changed my mind on the fly? I mean, I had it sketched out a certain way, um, but it just didn't work out. All right, let's get some foam on up here. And I'm just going to use the last of my foam tape uh, just to get this down quickly. Oh, actually, I have one more roll of this. Sue, did you ever find your um, the tape? around you at the Dollar Tree. All right, now I just want to drag this a little closer to me. So I want just a little bit of this to peek out under this soft suede layer. Yep, oh good, I'm glad you found it. All right, let's do this. All right, mm, I like it. Yeah, I'm glad you found some, Sue. This really is the best value. I mean, I did the math and it ended up being like 17 cents um, a yard or something like that. It's just super, super sticky. All right. And I'm just cutting little chunks instead of using dimensionals because um, I feel like I need to get moving. We're only on the first card. See, it's a good thing I did. Uh, I made the third card. Because, of course, you know, i got to show you the box. for We're making a custom box. Now, I only made three cards. Uh, the box, I think, will probably hold four or five cards. It's going to be like an inch tall. Um, oh, wait. I didn't need glue there. I need glue here. All right. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Love it. All right, and then we'll put these here. Nice. All right, now we need some bling. And I'm thinking I have some uh, left over. Hold, please. I put some of my retired bling that I was keeping in a different little basket. Um, oh, maybe I got rid of it all. Ugh. Yeah. All right. But actually, gilded gems, we can use those. This isn't what I had in mind. Um, they were like, oh, you know what? Faux sea glass would work too. Let's just stick with gilded gems. I wanted something gold, like really gold to stand out. These just not the right color. Oh, wait a minute. We can do these. Yep. All right. Make up your mind, Tony. God. All right. So these are the in color opal rounds, which I had to get these on my pre-order. And then as you can see, never touched them. So this pale papaya kind of looks like it matches this. So we're going to go with it. And then the soft succulent of course, let's do this. And then I'm going to do hmm, one of these, probably another green one, and then some little ones. Because I want like an odd number. So we'll do two and then oh, that's got to be like that. No, we got to do them backwards. I don't want pale papaya, soft succulent, pale papaya, soft succulent. So I want to switch them. So let's see if I can dig that one up and switch a roo. Okay. I'm happy enough with that. 
Mm, I like it. So we've got our slimline, petal pink, soft succulent, petal pink, and then gold embossing. And this was soft suede. I don't remember if I mentioned that. Um, and I need a piece of white for the inside. So the inside bit, and just a reminder, like I will have all these measurements on my blog when I get it updated, um, which should be actually Saturday because tomorrow after I leave work, we're going to um, the service for my friend's mom. I mean, it's a celebration of life. Um, so her, her after party and they're having a, a service. It's like at a community center. Um, and then they're having some kind of um, something for like an hour and a half. I don't know if it's somebody from the church is coming or I have no idea. Um, but it sucks that my sister won't be able to be there because like I said, she is in the hospital waiting for a room. So, um, all right. All right. I love it. Now you may be wondering how tight of a fit is this with all this stuff like jammed up on here? It's still pretty roomy. So you just got to be careful sliding stuff in. Um, these, the one that I made for the third card, I weighed it and it is over an ounce. Okay. Um, so extra postage required. And I imagine this is the same deal just because I put so many layers on it. Uh, let's talk about how big these are. Three and seven eighths inch wide by, I believe, eight and seven eighths inch. Yep, eight and seven eighths. And we're going to need that for later. So let me just write that down. Envelopes are three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. Okay. All right. So soft succulent. Um, then we're going to go to a smoky slate card. So let's put this out of the way. Um, now this one, I'm using the dies only from, this is the on the horizon set. And oh, of course my pile went flying. Um, so I cut some different pieces out of all different shades of gray and black. All right. Let me move this. Refile, refile, um, and turn the page on my notes because I don't remember what greeting I was going to use. Oh, yeah, still slimline sayings. Okay, on the horizon. Yep, yep, yep. Look at these cool neon index cards I got at Walmart. Anyway, that was random. Thanks, Carol. Um, all right, put this over. So smoky slate card base again, seven by eight and a half. So we're going to have a three and a half by eight and a half card. And then I've got some base pieces or some other layers. So I've got uh, three, this should be three and a quarter. Yep, by eight and a quarter for the inside. So let's go ahead and put that in. So this one, the only thing I'm really going to stamp is the greeting. Um, the rest will just be building up uh, using these, the pieces from the die set. Ooh, 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 ooh. That didn't sound, that didn't feel like it laid down right. Okay, so get that down. Uh, then I've got white, and this is three by eight. Because again, I'm, I'm digging a bigger border around this for now. Um, I don't always. Then this one, I took down just an eighth of an inch. So I wasn't a jerk for this one and took it, you know, three sixteenths. I gave you an easy eighth of an inch cut. Um, so what we're going to do, this is smoky slate. And then we're going to build up some scene um, with just the different pieces. So I cut two of everything. Um, let's just build it here. So I want mountains and you can flip these around however you want. Um, or you could just do one set, but I'm kind of, I want to double this up mountains and then hills. 
So the mountains are in black, the hills, smoky slate, um, trees, these are in basic gray. So we've got, you know, just more shades of black and gray. I'm just kind of like setting these out. And then this water or whatever this will be in the front is in gray granite. And I thought I had, oh yeah, here we go. I'm like, I thought I cut two of everything. Um, so I might just sit this over here. I might just use one of this. All right. Mm, I like it. Now, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could like dry emboss these like with different embossing folders and give it more texture. That would be neat. Hmm. All right. I'm kind of liking this. I just wanted everything like monotone. Cool. And then I took basic gray and a one inch circle punch. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this and then have the greeting, uh, right over here. And that'll have to be either happy birthday or I'm liking, uh, you are really fabulous. Or I could do happy for you again. Hmm. Let's get this down first. All right. So this, I'm just going to try to glue from the bottom up. Oops. So that was like here. All right. And then we're just going to add, add these. And you could pop some of these up if you wanted. I may pop up just the trees and the greeting. Um, ooh, there's a lot of like cardstock edges from die cutting. You know how you get like the little bits around there? All right, let's do this. And I'm just trying to make it even-ish along the sides. And I can tell that's a little bit, it's got a little bit more room here, but I'm already over it. All right, and then we're going to glue this one down. So somebody did something similar um, with like different colors, or maybe it was gray. I can't remember, but I like it. This seems cool and kind of like a masculine. Oof, I should have taped my extra paper down. But you could do this in shades of blue, shades of purple, like anything monotone I think would be uh, really cool. Oh, let's scooch this. Yikes. All right. And then we're going to add one little bit of whatever this is on the front. Just this little shape. And then just blow that all off of there. Um, then our trees. And if you wanted to put the houses, put the houses. All right. I kind of like that, like right there. Mm-hmm. And why don't we, on this one, I'm going to glue this bottom part down flat and then put uh, dimensionals just behind those trees. So that gets popped up. And I'm going to need, uh, do I have any black ones? Uh, yep, I think so. Just a few. That's all I need. Perfect. So put one and two. And the greeting I am going to stamp in black because I really want that to stand out some more. All right. Put it like right there, right on the edge. Just hold that in place. Okay. So this one came together really quickly, or it's going to. Um, Oh, and we're going to use some uh, classic dots, I think. Classic matte dots. Let's see. We'll glue this on here. And I need to find a scrap of white to stamp the greeting on. Okay. Oh, so I told Di and... Um, the other girls I was sitting with. So you may remember uh, last week, 
while I was up here stamping, my husband was downstairs grilling steaks for dinner. So we get down to eat and um, I was like, what smells like hot dogs? And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, you can't tell me that you don't smell that. Like I, I put the steak up to my nose. I'm like, it smells like hot dogs. And I said, how old was the steak? Like, did it go bad? And he just started laughing and he said, you were nuts. He said, I forgot to clean the grill from Sunday. So like from Mother's Day, he forgot to clean the grill when he um, cooked like three packs of hot dogs. <laughs> So our steaks tasted like hot dog steaks. <laughs> or no, I said it smells like bologna and it was hot dogs. So funny. And he's like, I can't believe you could taste that or smell it. And I'm like, I can't believe you couldn't smell it. Oh, yeah, I like this. And you know what? It could use maybe some, um, mmm. I don't know, Winka Stella. Like, I don't know if I want sparkly. All right, let's do this. All right, so that's kind of flat, flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I, I do see I've got a scrap of white here. So I just want a greeting like right here. So it's either you really are fabulous or... Um, I could do happy birthday. Why not? All right, let's get this off of here. And I'm going to use my Catherine Pooler Midnight because uh, this is rubber and it will clean right off. And it's a nice dark black. All right, and I am gonna let it sit for a minute while I um, clean my stamp because it really does need a little bit of drying time. And then we'll come back and cut it and pop it up and add some, some gems. And then we'll have time to make this box. Oh, look at that. 10 of nine. Okay. Sweet. All right. Clean, clean, clean. Put this back. Well, that's still drying. Yeah, I feel like I want to hit that um, the sun with the Winkostella. Let's just do it. All right, so clear Winkostella. Just giving it a good shake. Um, and I'm going to paint in just on this uh, circle. So let's see. And of course, if you want to do the whole thing, do the whole thing. It's up to you. All right, oops, smudged it, dang it. I think that looks cool with just that little bit shimmery. Can you guys even see that? I can see it a little bit. Yeah, Peggy, if you could just take hot dog, make hot dogs taste like steak. I couldn't believe that. And I just laughed, like, it was just funny. All right, what did I say? Black matte dots or, no, what was I thinking? Oh, I've got pebbles. Oh, you know what? I meant to use these on my first card. That's what I get for not looking at my notes entirely. Yeah, classic matte dots. That's what I need. And I just had them out, so what happened to them? Oh, here we go. All right, classic matte dots. So this has basic gray and black. Um, but I think in this case, with all the gray that I've already got going, I'm only going to use black ones. All right, so let's cut this. And I am okay with hand cutting this. And I'm going to get it pretty close. Okay. Neat. Yeah. Like right here. And then let's pop that up. Um, again, let's get to using this foam tape up. So yeah, after the, um, hot dog steaks, I told him, I said, you got to remember to clean that grill. You're going to poison us one of these days. All right. Let's get this like right there. Nice. Okay. 
and then some of these. Mm -mm -mm. So let's do like two. Rose, I was cracking up last week when I was asking you, I was saying, how many more of these should I add? Five? And you're like, no, no, no. Is there a delay on this thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's always a delay. All right, and then I want one more. Oh, he might be going for the grill. I hear the garage opening again, the garage door. That's a sure sign. All right, who knows what we're having. All right, so that's number card number two, and that will go in the, and I put the inside in. Yep, that'll go in the envelope. This one feels a little bit lighter, so I would have to weigh that. Um, hey, Penny, thanks. All right, so that is card number two. Here is card number one again. We'll just bring them back. Here is number three. So with this envelope being black and white, I wanted to go with a black and white card. So we did, um, it's vertical this time. This paper is, and I'll put all the measurements on my blog, um, but this is from the uh, all together papers that we can still get. The one that comes with the, um, the hands, that stamp set. These colors, this is my new favorite green, Parakeet Party. And then the red. So the red on top, let me bring this closer. The red on top is the sweet sorbet. The darker red under it is a uh, poppy parade. So hopefully when I take a picture of this, yeah, you can see the difference here, right? Um, hopefully it'll get those pictures good too. Um, but I added a little bit of the, the white glittery organdy and more of the classic matte dots. And then the You Matter To Me, that came from the same stamp set. Um, this one here together. Yeah, so I was gonna die cut the You Matter, but that is like really big and I wanted just something a little bit to fit in the corner. Um, but you know, black and white, and we've got so many black and white papers. Oh my God. So in the main catalog, there's the penciled something or other, penciled prints or something. Um, then there's at least one in the mini catalog coming out um, that's like in the Halloween section. And I think it's just called Black and White Prints. Funny. Um, so, all right, let's get these. Now let's make a box for these. So it was going to be a two-piece box. Turn the pages on my notes. Oh, hey, where is my drawing? Oh, I don't need it. All right, so we're going to do a two-piece box. So we said our envelopes are three and seven-eighths by eight and seven-eighths. So we're going to have a piece. Let's just say it's like this. So our sides are going to be one inch for the bottom. And then this, we want to add... Um, I can only add an eighth of an inch because I'm trying to use eight and a half by 11 paper only. All right. And with two inches already gone, we can make this nine. Okay. So we're adding an eighth. So that means this side is going to be four, one, one. So, you know, how I like to make the tops and the bottoms, um, a little bit different. So the bottom is going to have to be a slightly less than this. So let me make sure we can still read. All right. Bottom. So I cut down a 16th of an inch. When I say less than, that means, so it's going to be less than, boop, six by 11, which is really five and um, 15 sixteenths. Four, five, six, yep, by 10 and 15, 16. So I just want a smidge off, all right? And then the top will be, um, actually the top I want to make half inch sides because I want to be able to see part of the box. So let's write this top. I'm going to do little different measurements. This will definitely be nine. This will be four, um, but this will be a half and a half half and a half. So, and you'll see what I mean. So this is going to be five, four plus a half. So five by nine plus 
a half and a half is 10. All right, let's cut something. Now I'm gonna make, uh, how about I make the bottom black and then the top I will make, mm, let's go uh, petal pink. I'm saying petal pink just because I have this scrap left and let me see if it's big enough. Uh, it is not. All right, but that's fine. All right, hold please. Plus I have, I have like an entire pack and a half of petal pink and I have no more granny apple green and some other color. All right. So bottom six by 11 trim down a 16th of an inch. So six by 11, let's cut this one first. So six inches is here for me. So I want to take just one little mark off. All right, and then 11, we'll take one little, over here, one little 16th off. All right, and then I'm going to score at one inch. Um, for the top, 5 by 10. So let's do 5. And I'm not going to doll this um, box up right now. Five, that seemed like a little bit crooked. Five by 10, like as far as dolling the top of the box up. Um, but I'm just gonna get you the measurements and show you that it adds up. All right, so scoring. Let's go back to the bottom first. So the bottom piece, I want one inch sides. All right, so I'm just gonna score one inch all four sides. All right. One. And I always do the scoring over here. So one, turn the paper. One, turn the paper. One, turn the paper. And one. Oops. And that almost slid out a little bit. Well, not almost. It did. All right. Top piece. I want half inch borders or sides. Um, and that's so we see part of the, you know, the bottom box. So again, let's do half inch, turn your paper, half inch, turn your paper, half inch. You know, now that I'm looking at this, three quarters of an inch probably would have been a better idea and I might remake that um, and change it up but you're gonna get the idea all right now um, I need to snip these sides so I come in straight on the left side of this score mark and then angle and then angle that one and then I've been doing flipping it over so then I just make the same cut all the time so straight on the left side of the score mark and then come in angle angle same thing here straight up on the left side because we want to cut that score mark out really and then same here and this part goes really quickly um and then all this the same yeah these are really teeny tiny little tab. So this is the only piece that I'm going to have to glue. Peggy, Penny, you bet I sit at work and decide these measure measurements. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm not going to lie, but box measurements are always, um, pretty easy. Like I do always start with a diagram though, even for myself, even though when I know what I want to make, I always draw it out. And then I put my numbers in and then I double check. <laughs> All right. So let's get rid of this garbage. And now we're going to take and score like all of our score lines, fold everything up, get the 
this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I think a three quarter inch um, side would have been better. More to grab onto, you know, this little half inch. Ugh. But it's going to do what I want because I want the bottom of the box to peek out. I generally don't like boxes um, like that the sides are the same. I mean, it's not that I don't like them. I just don't make them a lot. All right. So then these tabs are going to come in like that. We're going to glue them and attach that. So glue here. All right. We'll, we'll get to that. Now let's do all these fold marks. Now this only being an eighth inch um, extra on both sides, like the envelopes, it's going to be a snug fit. Let's say that. It's not going to be tight. It's not going to be loose. There's not going to be any a whole lot of wiggle room. Uh, but I like this idea for make somebody some cards. Now, I don't know how this will hold up in the mail, um, but I'm just going to hand give it to somebody. All right, so let's put glue on these tabs. All right, and then we're going to pull these up. So you want a nice, crisp, clean corner. Can you see that? So I brought those up, and I'm just holding that for a minute. And then same thing here. Bring these two pieces up so the corners meet, and we get a nice, crisp corner. Same thing down here. And I've just been putting on these small tabs, like I put the glue on at the same time. But again, we're going to bring these both corners up. I feel like this is backwards when I'm looking at it. I'm trying to give you guys a good view of this corner. And then same here, bring both the corners up. So everything's straight, like facing up. Okay. Mmm, nice. Now let's just put this down. See how that fits right in there? I love it. And I'm going to stack these like opposites just so you can see how much room you have left. So see, we've got really like half inch room for probably two more cards. See the side there? All right, now let's put this lid on. Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. All right, again, two little bits of glue on these tabs. And same thing. We're just bringing them up to a nice corner. So if you wanted to stamp on your top at all, you should definitely do that before you... Um, even before you score anything. So cut your paper and then stamp and then do your scoring. Um, like, especially if you're going to do stamping like all over, like randomly, because once you score it, your stamping's not going to get down in the, the nooks and crannies of your score lines. Um, but what I usually do is add some paper, like some layers to the top of the box to tart it up. All right, so we've got our petal pink. And I tend to, I always want to squish these in. Um, it's just hard to keep them like from bowing out. I think if the cardstock was thicker, that would be less of a problem, um, but it's good enough. All right, so now here's the trick. Is it gonna fit perfectly? And the answer should be yes. <gasps> yep, there it goes. Nice. So you can tell that it's perfect because there's not any, it's not like th there's no gaps on the sides. Like everything is nice and snug. So, mm. so you see what I mean where this is only half inch. It could have come down three quarters. I still would have gotten a quarter inch of the black peeking out. And that probably would have been better. Um, but look at this size. Doesn't it look perfect size for a tie or something? Like something, you know, Father's Day is coming up. So this, I think this size box could come in handy. 
you could even make your person a card, put it in the box, and then put whatever gift you're putting in here. This will hold a lot of um, chocolate, too, if that's what you want to put in there. <laughs> I say chocolate because I'm craving some right now. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Um, but, yeah, so what I would do is put some layers on here, like, you know, I'll pick like maybe a different pattern of that designer series paper from, um, from the Trey Chic pack. Oh, maybe even that one. I don't know. Or I could use a little piece of this again. So kind of to tie it in with the first card. And then, uh, I know I have some black ribbon and tie that around and make a little tag. So, mm, I love that. I hope you guys liked it too. Penny, the box would be his gift. That's funny. That's <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, I just like making boxes anyway. So, um, all right. So that is that I will get blog updated by Saturday. Let me just check my notes again. Stamp. We did show and tell. Yep. The kits going on BOGO, um, buy one, get one half off. Uh, that is like not the paper pumpkins, but just the other stamping kits. What do they call those? I can't even remember the name. Ugh. But that's gonna go. That's gonna be in June. So June first through thirtieth, and then next Thursday is June workshop. So if you want to get in on the May one, closing that out on the thirty first at nine p.m. Eastern time, since that's where I am. Okay. So thanks, Carol. Rose, do men still wear ties? Yeah, some do at work. Like it's very casual at work these days, at least where I am. Um, but I'm sure plenty of people still wear them. Yeah. All right. So have a great weekend. Uh, this we've got a holiday weekend. Sue, are you on tomorrow night? I got a notice when I logged in earlier to Facebook that I totally missed you, um, last night, like, cause I was working late and I was actually busy. But, um, if you are, if you're going to be on tomorrow, let me know. Diane, are the minis being sent out? Yes. They're going to be sent out early June. So if you got one in the mail for me, um, you're going to get one or actually, yeah. So the people that I hand deliver them to, I think I'm just going to put them, I'm just going to have them mailed direct because these ones are cheaper. Um, I'll have to see. So, but you're definitely getting one. All right. Thanks, Julie. Yeah. Thank you everyone. Have a great weekend and I will see you uh, next Thursday. Okay. Bye. <laughs>